Guys, I found a very strange Pokemon card product, but apparently that it is filled with only ultra rares. So we're gonna see if that's true. What's good everybody, Darkle here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, guys, we have a Pokemon card box. However, what's inside this box I have no idea, but just by looking at this box, it looks strange, you feel me? It says Pocket Monsters Card Game, which obviously means Pokemon, you know, for the Japanese, the old days, all of that jazz, bro. And if you turn it around, we got 64 pieces and a metal energy. I'm pretty sure that's a metal energy, right? And then the front is a normal or colorless, I should say. So that is definitely a metal energy, steel energy, whatever you want to call it, bro. But guys... It says 64 pieces, so right off the rip, if you see something like that, that's sketchy, you feel me? Because Pokemon would never use the word pieces, you feel me, in their products. It just doesn't look good. But let's go ahead and check out the sides. It says Pocket Monsters Card Games, and then it says that all around. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what exactly is inside, guys. We are also going to be opening up random Pokemon TCG products. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe, and comment anything you want in the comments down below. Just include the hashtag Ghoul Army to be featured in a video. Now, let's open this up. Here we go, guys. Check this out. I got the plastic wrap off, so I'm now going to be opening up the box itself, and let's see what's inside, bro. Let's see what's inside, man. Hopefully, it is amazing cards and nothing that is going to troll your boy. But I have a feeling after seeing 64 pieces, it's going to be a troll. You feel me? So here we go. Here we go. Three, two, and... Bruh. Yep. What do you know, guys? It is a troll because just look at this Mewtwo. It looks terrible, my guy. But before we get into the stack of cards, is that everything? Nope. We got a tag team Blastoise. Check that out. So now... That is everything in the box. So let's go ahead and check out the stack of cards. You feel me? Because I'm curious. These cards are so dark, bro. Like, where is the brightness? The contrast is so off, my guy. It is way too dark. I don't know why they made them like this. So are these all EXs? No, definitely not. Because that right there is a GX. We got the Mega Zar. So this is definitely a throwback, guys. Look at that. We got the Mega Zards from Flash Fire. We got some new stuff. Okay. We got Vs. I thought it was all going to be throwbacks, but it looks like we got Vs. Ain't nobody care about Vs nowadays, you feel me? Let's be honest here. Nobody cares about Vs. So let's go ahead and skip those. And I believe we're getting to the good stuff. You feel me? The throwbacks. So these are all Vs yet again. We got some Rainbow V Maxes. Nobody cares about those. We got some gold. Check that out. You can't even tell they're gold because of how dark the card is. Look, guys. Check this out, bro. Check this out. Let me grab a real card and look how bright they're supposed to be. This is a real Deoxys V. And look at that. That is absolutely crazy, man. That is absolutely crazy. So let's continue, bro. Let's continue. What else do we got? You feel me? We got some gold. More V, v Maxes, I should say. And there we go. We got tag teams. So first and foremost, we got the worst Pokemon of all time. One of the worst Pokemon of all time is definitely the Alolan Executor. I just absolutely hate it. Y'all know I hate Alolan Executor. And yes, I know. Hate is a strong word. But it's the truth, my guy. I can't lie, and I gotta keep it a buck, you feel me? So here we go. We got the Frozma, Buzzwell. We got beautiful, beautiful tag teams. Look at that. Even some promo cards, man. So this box definitely had some good stuff if it was real, you feel me? Because obviously, none of these cards are real, and wow. I haven't seen this Alolan Raichu and regular Raichu tag team in forever ever my guy it's been a hot minute since i've seen that we got the reshizard and then we ended things off with the blastoise and piplup so guys we got over 60 plus ultra rare cards from that box alone but unfortunately every single card 
was a dud, you feel me? Because they are not legit, my guy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you own any of these tag teams, bro? I'm pretty sure a decent amount of you do, so just let me know which ones do you own in the comments, and I'll definitely read them. So now, let's open up some products, some booster packs of Pokemon cards. Let's get it. The first thing I'm gonna open is this Scarlet and Violet pre-release kit, so let's crack this open. There we go, guys. We got the worst starter from Scarlet and Violet. Let's just put that pre-release deck right there, and let's get straight into business on opening up the packs themselves, everybody. So here is the code card. Might as well just show the code card last, because it is the final card anyways, you feel me? So here we go. What do we got in this pack? This is Scarlet and Violet base, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't opened up too much of Scarlet and Violet base. We got the Cyclozar, we got the Squovet, and we got a regular Hollow. And that's probably why I haven't been opening up Scarlet and Violet base, you feel me? I actually prefer Paldea Evolve. So far, Paldea Evolve is definitely the best Scarlet and Violet set released to date, you feel me? But once 151 comes out, that's obviously gonna be number one, you feel me? So we got Miriam, shout out to Miriam. We got Go Goat and a Pomod. So one of the cards that I absolutely need from Scarlet and Violet Base is the Miriam Alt Art or the Special Illustration Rare, you feel me? That's the card I really want from this set and I have yet to pull it. We have pulled the full art, all I need is the alt art let's just go ahead and full send this pack right here bro wow this pre-release kit is rough so final pack guys final pack y'all here we go should we just full send it let's full send it bro let's full send it and nothing all good guys we got a backup featuring this cyclozar ex box so hopefully our luck changes all right guys so we got promo promo number two and we got the code card obviously the promos are a w but they're not considered pool so hopefully we can get something to cover those promos if not literally promos are the only pull for today's episode so guys hopefully this ex box can change things around here we go nope already off to a bad start but now we got some silver tempest bro maybe silver tempest can redeem us i don't know the pull rates of silver tempest it's been a hot minute but guys we're just gonna go ahead and full send this pack come on silver don't do me dirty we got a forest seal stone quite unfortunate but a hollow is a hollow in sword and shield it matters because you're not guaranteed a hollow here we go Come on, come on, come on. And we got the Coridon EX. There's the code card, but we finally got our first pull, and it's just an EX card, bro. Wow, that's rough. Wow, that is rough. So Lost Origin, final pack. Let's do the pack trick, because why not? You feel me? Final pack, we might get the Giratina, bro. If we get the Giratina, it's GG, and this opening was amazing. You feel me? So here we go. We got Paris. We got an ink. We got Jinx. We got Gloom. And we got a Hunch Crow regular. And guys, that is exactly why you don't buy sealed product from GameStop. Their pull rates are trash. Everything I've been opening, you know, for the past, I want to say past week, like all the extra boxes and packs I've been opening, they have been from GameStop, unless I personally show you footage of me going to local car shops, picking up Obsidian Flames and all of that jazz, which I have been doing, those are from car shops, but all the other weird boxes, like the Mimikyu, Cyclozar, Building Battles, etc., those are from GameStop, and they have been absolute trash, my guys, so definitely once I open up the rest of the product I have from GameStop, I'm never buying cards from there ever again, it's just too bad. But guys, technically, we pulled over 60 ultra rare Pokemon cards. Unfortunately, they are not real, but I technically did do it. You feel me? And if you add this Coridon, we pulled 65 bangers, bro. Man, I sound so delusional. But guys, if you did enjoy today's episode, let me know your thoughts on these very strange Pokemon cards that came out of that box. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.